at seven o'clock at night because better late than never, right? It is the day before Christmas Eve and I feel like I have so much stuff to do. I just got home from co-coaching another Orange Theory class and there's just a lot I have to get done before tomorrow, Christmas Eve, because all day pretty much I'm gonna be busy. So as you can see, of course, my kitchen table is a mess and then I'll quickly show you how messy my kitchen is. So yeah. Gonna clean that up. Need to wrap presents. I started wrapping last night and then realized most of the things I got can just go in bags. And I didn't even bother getting out the bag. So do that. I got a shower and then go over the template for tomorrow's Orange Theory class because I'm gonna be co-coaching first thing in the morning, seven o'clock. And then I think the latest class is at 10 or something. There's gonna be four or five classes I'm co-coaching. So I'm pretty excited. If you're not already, be sure you subscribe down below. And I hope you guys enjoy this nighttime vlog where it's gonna be kind of a clean with me and I'm just getting everything together for Christmas. Actually gonna start with an unboxing because for candle day, I ordered candles from Bath and Body Works and um, don't judge how long it's okay. Anyway, for candle day, I ordered candles from Bath and Body Works and they finally came in. I feel like it's been over a month and I know everything's busy with the holidays or whatever. It's been so long, I honestly don't even remember what I ordered, but I do remember I ordered two Christmas scents and two scents that I just really like. This is Marshmallow Fireside. I love the smell of marshmallows. It smells so good because it's frozen. It's like literally coming out. It smells so good. And the packaging is really pretty. And this is actually my favorite scent. This is Champagne Toast. Here's the packaging. I've never gotten one with this packaging before, but it smells so good. This is my favorite scent. I always rebuy this candle. Love this packaging also. The little Christmas tree and little trees. Oh, the little car. This is Tis the Season. Delicious. This I have in my car as a little air freshener. It smells so good. You can definitely here, my dogs <laughs> running around and playing with each other right now. And then super cute packaging, but I didn't just get this because it's Christmas. I, it's the Merry Cookie. And I got this because in the mornings, now just on the weekends, but when I'm making my coffee, I like the smell of a coffee candle burning or cookies. I mean, this would be nice for Christmas morning when I have everyone come over to my house for brunch. It smells so good. Literally, I just want to eat it. I'm gonna put these away and then I think I'm gonna start with wrapping my Christmas presents or just putting my Christmas presents in bags. That way I can stick them under the tree and those will be off the table and then I can just put the things away that are on the table that don't need to be there anymore and I can just clean up. I do have this pumpkin bonfire candle sitting here that is more like fall. So I'm gonna switch it out and burn the Tis the Season candle. I'm trying to do it with my left hand. I'm right-handed, so this is very awkward. Didn't even get it. And there we go. Not aesthetic at all. Then I'll just stick the candles in here in this little shelf thing. I have all my candles, my air fresheners, my wax melts, all the things in here. Then we'll just shut it so no one can see. And here's my big tote of containers, bows, all the things I need for wrapping, mostly bags and boxes. So now I just need to go through it and find bags or boxes, whatever. I need to fit the things that I need.
kitchen is mostly cleaned up. This is still a mess, but that's just gonna have to stay like that for right now. And then here's our table. Leaving this stuff here because I'm gonna need that tomorrow and this weekend. So everything's pretty good. Dogs are still wrestling. Now that I'm done with those little things, it is now 8.18 and I honestly just wanna shower and get in bed. But there are still a few other things I want to get done. My room, you can't see, but it is still pretty messy. There's a cardigan on this dresser I have to hang up. Stuff there I have to hang up. Stuff on the floor that you can't see. But that stuff has honestly been there for a couple days. And I don't know if I'm going to do anything with it tonight still. But I want to have to shower, wash my hair, and I have to make dinner, which will be easy because I'm just gonna heat up some leftover chili. And then I have to go over the template for tomorrow morning's orange theory class because I volunteered to go. And the template looks really hard. So let's see if I can figure it out. And then after that, I can just get in bed and go to sleep. I don't have to be at the studio until seven tomorrow. So I can sleep in a time, actually not really. I'm gonna wake up the same time I usually wake up for work, I think, and leave the same time I leave for work. So I don't really get to sleep in. But excited to go. Hopefully, I'll do good. Today went pretty good. She did give me a few pointers, but she said I'm sounding a lot more confident, especially on my floor demos, which is good. So, because that is... I know how to do the exercises, but trying to explain them to people who possibly don't know how to do them, it's kind of hard. So, I'm figuring it out, and I'm really happy with it. And, yeah, let's go shower. I seriously felt so good hair wash days really made me feel like a whole new person now i'm just putting on my moisturizer and serum that i use every day even though i'm really breaking out right now so i don't really like putting product on my face when i am breaking out like this but and just run a comb through my hair even though i comb it in the shower but i'll just Get it to the part that I want. That way it can dry a little bit like this. And voila, that is my post shower hair wash day routine. She always lays on our laundry. You just love the laundry, huh? <laughs> She's like in an extra crazy mood today. Why are you so crazy tonight? <laughs> Before I start my chores, I think I'm actually gonna make some hot chocolate so i'm gonna use my white elephant from work present this coffee cup that is literally the size of my head i got this and like five little hot chocolate k cups but i don't have a keurig so i gave those to someone i don't remember who i gave them to my mom or my sister make it all in the thing is this cup is huge so i don't really know how much milk i should use this is a big cup of milk if i drink that but I did about to here maybe that'll be fine this thing is actually insane I don't know how long I should do it though maybe we'll go a minute 30 we'll see how that works let's see how this one gets out cup feels pretty hot oh, and I just knocked it and it spilled a little but I know I shouldn't have opened it to it but Using a little straw to make. I just had some and it was not hot enough. So we're gonna put it in for another minute 30 and see if that's good. Gotta be good. Oh yeah, I feel the warmth in there. I need to clean the top of my microwave. Oh yeah, the cup is so heavy. Yeah, that looks much better. Now, obviously for toppings, marshmallows would be ideal, but the only marshmallows I have are huge. So we're gonna go with some Ready Whip whipped cream. Just add a little. Oh yeah. Then on top, just some pumpkin pie spice or cinnamon, whatever. All right, here we go. First time trying to drink out of this giant coffee cup. Pretty good. Literally all of the whipped cream has melted already. Pretty much. Now, I don't have any other thing to keep me from doing this and procrastinate just cleaning up. So, I got some hangers, finally gonna hang up these clothes and then go over my template and get in bed. Honestly, I'll get in bed and go over the template because I'm just ready to get in bed. Luckily, I just have to hang this stuff up because I don't know how to hang things up when I'm just done with it. Like if I try stuff on, which is what pretty much all of this is, I can't just put it away in the closet right away. I have to let it sit here in a pile until 
it's time for me to get in bed and I can't because this is on my bed.